In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. A welcome to all of you this evening. Uh, we celebrate this Mass of Confirmation for uh, these candidates. Um, I know this is kind of a weird way of doing confirmation. Uh, it was, I've, I've done uh, probably 20 or 30 uh, ceremonies so far outside, um, masked, you know, nothing that we had planned when you started uh, this process, and yet uh, the Spirit comes to us in, in many different ways, um, giving us strength, guiding us uh, through difficult times. I think we could all agree that this is a difficult time for us in our church, in our community, our families, and in our world. So we ask that Spirit to give us strength, uh, to, to teach us holiness, and to make us better disciples, followers of the Lord Jesus. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have made you sin in my in thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As the body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink from one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take 
away their breath they perish and return to their dust when you send forth your spirit they are created and you renew the face of the earth lord send out your spirit and renew the face of the May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the be with you and with your spirit. a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John on the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were out of fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them peace be with you and when he had said this he showed them his hands and his side the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive you the Holy Spirit. Who sends you forgive, they are forgiven them. Who sends you retain, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, Bishop Mark, we welcome you to our parish community and in this uh, great setting this evening as well. And we have 11 um, people that have gathered here that are seeking the sacrament of confirmation because they've been growing in their faith and have prepared greatly for tonight and anxiously awaited uh, the setting of this day and for you to be here to administer the great sacrament of confirmation. And so I would like those to be confirmed, please stand at this time. I present to you now our wonderful candidates. Thank you very much, Brother Mike. You may be seated. This uh, gospel passage that uh, we've just heard, the story of Jesus appearing to the apostles after the resurrection. And you might notice, probably should stand back behind the altar. There, I think we won't get feedback back here. Uh, you notice that, that Jesus uh, says, the first thing he does, he appears to them and he says, peace be with you. And, and it, you know, I've heard this uh, gospel passage many, many times over my life, but especially it's used during confirmation ceremonies. So in the last uh, couple of months, I've, I've been hearing it a lot. And, and I think, wow, you, you know, if there's anything that we need right now, it's peace. Um, it, you know, just everything seems to be just up in the air. Everything has been changed, the way that we do everything. The way that we worship is just one of the, uh, the issues 
um, the way we work, the way that we go to school. Um, everything is affected by uh, the uh, COVID-19. Um, we've seen in uh, the past months the, uh, the, the, the tremendous anger over uh, uh, discrimination, racism in our society, and, and just that coming, being that coming to the fore. Um, we, we see uh, just this disruptions in family life, um, in, in trade, I, I mean, just everything, the jobs, Everything has been affected in some way, in a negative way, hasn't it? And so uh, hearing this uh, uh, gospel passage over and over again, Jesus saying, peace be with you, um, for me has been really a, a healing um, moment in my own personal life. Um, and then Jesus blows on the apostles. He uh, and you can recall that, that in the story of Genesis, when God created Adam, what he did to, to give him spirit and life was he breathed on him. And the, uh, the word in, in Hebrew for, for breath is the same word that we, that is, uh, we use for spirit. Uh, so so this, this idea of the spirit uh, coming upon the apostles at this time giving them peace, a sense uh, not just of who they are, beloved, uh, who, are, uh, who God cares for and watches over, uh, but also that they are sent on a mission. And I think that it's really appropriate in a sense that we're um, celebrating confirmation, um, that we're celebrating this outside because... Um, the apostles were not sent, um, did not receive the spirit to, to hang out inside a church. Uh, they were uh, inside of a room in order to be sent out. And that's the same thing that happens to us at the end of every mass. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Uh, be the gospel to the people whom you meet. Uh, you now have a mission. And, and it's that aspect that I think you know, we, we are celebrating with the, ch the wall of the church on one side of us and the rest of the world on the other. Uh, we, we're sent from this foundation of faith uh, to share the gospel with a world that truly needs the peace of the Lord to be with them, the peace of the Lord to be with us. Uh, and so uh, as we do that, uh, we ask the Spirit to enliven our faith. I also think that, in, in a sense, you know, we're all wearing masks, and um, you know, I I, I don't take the, my mask off during mass, uh, partly because I think that I look really good in a mask. Uh, uh, actually, my brothers and sisters said that I even look better if I had a bag over my head, but I'm pretty sure that was not meant kindly. Uh, <laughs> But if you think about it, um, we're, we're, we've sort of become these faceless uh, people in, in society right now. Uh, but, but as disciples of Jesus, think of yourself as putting on not a mask that hides who we are, but putting on the face of Jesus that, that is the love, is the grace, is the forgiveness, the reconciliation, is the peace that Jesus poured out upon his apostles at, uh, after his resurrection and, and enliven them to be apostolic, prophetic witnesses of the gospel, uh, that we can make a difference um, in our communities and in our world. Uh, so the, the Spirit uh, gives the gifts of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, right judgment, uh, piety, courage or fortitude, and fear of the Lord, a recognition that God is so great and he loves us. We're so small with a love that is unending. And so uh, we pray that, that those gifts uh, enable all of you to be those missionary disciples of Jesus uh, sharing the good news 
with those whom we meet. When you were baptized, your parents and godparents brought you to church. Some of them, you were brought here to St. Bartholomew to be baptized. And uh, in your name, they made a profession of faith. Uh, It's that same profession that we now ask you to renew in the sight of your sponsors and your family and friends who are watching online. So I'd like to invite all of our candidates for confirmation to please stand. And to the following questions respond, I do. Uh, The first question is uh, actually a renunciation of of evil, um, of Satan and the evil that we experience around us in the world, to empty ourselves of everything that is not God so that Uh, When we make our profession of faith, we might fill ourselves with everything that is God. So do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? I believe. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. My friends, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for these, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life in baptism, that God graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give to them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
I invite you to uh, join me in congratulating our newly confirmed. Please stand as we lift up our prayers, our needs before God. For these sons and daughters of God, confirmed with the gift of the Spirit, that they witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Archbishop Jose Gomez, our Bishop, and for all bishops, priests, deacons, and laymen and women, that they may continue to be open to the gift of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of all nations, that under the guided by the Holy Spirit, that they may word together for the good of all the peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, suffering, homeless, poor, unemployed, and for those who are suffering because of the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in medical research, that they may find a vaccine to bring about healing and hope for our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may act in word and deed to help heal our country of violence and racism, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear and answer the prayers of your people who trust in your love and care for them. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and cleanse our hearts by the light of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit upon your adopted children. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the hosts and of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace as we are able. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be in my room, but only say the words of my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, O Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity, foster her growth in the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bishop Mark, thank you so much for being with us tonight and bringing the great gift of the sacrament, the Holy Spirit, upon our in candidates. And that as you go forward, candidates, thank God for you and God's blessings to your families and to all who are watching and uh, also to all those who have supported and strengthened you in your journey of faith that you will continue to be great witnesses for the church now, wherever you go. Always remember, you'll never be alone. For the Lord has said, I'll always be with you. I'll always be there for you. And he says, come to me when you find life difficult or burdensome, and I will give you rest. For his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So congratulations again to each of you and to your sponsors as well. And to um, uh, Kelly for the, the, our formation directors, that uh, God bless her because she sure uh, uh, worked hard with you and truly made uh, us aware of how well you are prepared to be witnesses now to go forth in the power of the Spirit. So God bless you. Thank you, Kelly. Okay. Father Bernie, thank you always for being here. We're glad you didn't go to Ireland this year, that you're here with us uh, for the rest of the year, which is marvelous. And um, uh, Deacon Mache, well, thank you. And Larry, thank you as well. And uh, everybody, God bless you and congratulations to you. And thanks, uh, Bishop Mark. I, I also just wanted to comment, uh, uh, this is the only time at a confirmation, I mean, I've done, been doing these confirmations outside, but. Um, Father Mike actually trained a dove to come down. I don't know if you saw the dove visiting. So, uh, you know, so if you don't feel like you've received the Holy Spirit, um, the dove is going home with you, actually. <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, uh, so, so certainly you're praying for, for all of you and your families during the, this, uh, this time. Uh, may, we, may we grow together in, in unity. Um, and peace, and and may the the difficulties we're experiencing in our our world uh, be be overshadowed always by the grace of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God the Father Almighty bless you, whom you has made His adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit. And may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. Amen. May his only begotten son, who promised that the spirit of truth would abide in his church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Light. 